It's a heavyweight clash between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. Well, Daniel Cormier is inching closer to the end of his professional career. Those are his words, not mine. But this is a man who may just go down as the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter of all time. He became a simultaneous two-division champion when he beat Stipe Miocic. That was July of 2018. And tonight, Daniel Cormier looks to continue what is one of the best legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. Daniel Cormier is one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in the UFC's heavyweight division and with that work ethic he has brought his striking up to an elite level as well he is amongst the very best in the sport he is the ufc heavyweight champion croatian american stipe miacic you want to be a professional baseball player but ultimately left that goal in pursuit of mixed martial arts glory. And you all remember when he knocked out Fabricio Verdum in Brazil, no less, to realize that UFC heavyweight gold in 2016. They are still all chasing Stipe Miocic in this UFC heavyweight division. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miacic is 35, Cormier is 38. Miacic will have the eight inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's fighting out of the corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. And now, if you see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Body of Independence, Ohio, Steve Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man. We are underway. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. With some of the best boxing in this heavyweight division, here is the former Golden Gloves champion, current UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and as such, the baddest man on the planet, Croatian-American Stipe Miocic. He has finished 13 of his 16 wins, all by way of knockout. we will be trying to get right back at it tonight. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? Stipe Miocic has big power. He's an excellent heavyweight with great cardio. One weapon that he's particularly fond of is the elbow strike. Good shot. He lands a big shot from the bottom. In half guard. Oh, doesn't get much better than that, Joe. Postures up, lands the head strike. Fighters back to their feet here. Gets caught 
caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, that's a good jab right there. Yeah, and here he goes again. Cormier gets the takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Big body punch. Into side control. He's going for the north-south position. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice punch there by Corbin. Now he's back into full guard. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by DC. He postures into place. Oh, hammer fist here by DC. Good shot to the body. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Mixing in some body elbows now, Joe. He hits him with a hammer fist. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Miacic. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you like to see that, Joe. A little bit uneventful. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's back into side control here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. He's pounding him, and he's gonna try to take the back. Joe, the hammer fists keep on coming, they're getting blocked here. Big shot from the bottom. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by DC. Lands the ground and pound strike. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. He's back in half guard now. Nice punch to the body. He's got a full mount here. Oh, oh good left hand. hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's now working from side control again. He moves to the Mount of Crucifix. This is ugly. He's trying to take the back here. 15 seconds remain in the round. And he's got his back. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's now working from side control again. Back to north south right. again. Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. That was some amazing ground and pound on display. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. Second round on the way. Nice one, two there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he 
tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Cody. Oh! To the face. He's got him hurt here. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He oh, lands a elbow. huge elbow to the head. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Guillotine, guillotine. That choke looks locked up tight. That choke is deep. This choke can tick. Oh and there my it is. God! Got caught in the choke. Didn't want to tap and went to sleep. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight, Joe. Really excellent work, not just with the setup, but with the transitions and top-level technique to ultimately get the finish and put his opponent unconscious. And here's the end. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 45 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Daniel D.C. Well, what else can you say about the UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier and still approaching 40 years old and DC still finding a way to get it done. Very opportunistic when it comes to his submission game. Picks his spots well in the struggle.